J, Chai Suksuri, Product Specialist, ISS. Today I want to show you how to program Tools Talk 2. So let's go take a look. How to create a quick step program. So in your tiny program, go to your right hand corner, click add, and you can create a tiny program here. There's different strategies, but this time we're going to start from quick step. I can name it anything, but I'm just going to name it quick step as well to make it easy. And I'm going to create a target torque of 10 Nm. Now in the program, starts, starting from our properties, you can add a description to the program and it will show up in your tiny library, such as 10 Nm door application. And when I come back, I would see it in my description. But we're not going to have it right here. Um, strategy, as we know, it's a quick step. You could choose a direction. It could be clockwise, counterclockwise. Rehit detection could be early. That's by default. Means whenever you run this program and it detects a rehit, the tool will stop right away. If it's complete, means the tool will run until the end of the cycle, then it flags a not okay or okay. Depends if it detects a rehit or not. Torque angle compensation, that's another feature we're not going to talk about. Attachment tuning enable, this is if you have additional gear heads. We're not going to talk in detail about it. I'm going to close this. And for our step configuration, there are four steps to most tightening programs, um, which is the start stage, rundown stage, tightening stage, and the stop stage. We're going to go step by step. So on the start stage is when you run your tool, and the tool is going to run really slow at 34 RPM by default for 9 degrees to look for the socket. On the rundown stage, you're going to run at a higher speed because you're running down from the thread to hit your um, first torque or your snuck point and then um, reach your target torque. Now on the rundown stage, you can also add a self-tapping. Since the rundown stage involves a lot of the thread um, fastening, if you set a self-tapping means your screw might be running down some plastic parts where you want to create a thread, but we're going to turn this off as well. You could also set rundown torque limits, angle limits. Um, an application of the angle limit itself is when you want to detect if you're having a longer thread or a shorter thread. We're not going to set that up because this is going to be super basic. Post view torque, um, that is something else. Rundown complete is when you assume you're going to run at this high speed and somewhere around your snug point. Now, let's go to the important part, the tightening stage. So because my first torque is 20 Newton meters and compared to my target torque, it's much higher. That is why it's flagging that this is an error. So your first torque will be, will be between the rundown complete and the target torque. In this case, I'll set that up to seven. And next is your first speed and target speed. What does this do? If I click on manual, you'll see some suggested speeds. So on the rundown stage, it's running on the max speed of your tool until it hits the rundown complete torque at 5. It's running the first speed from 5 to 7 Nm at 345 RPM, which is slower. Then from 7 to 10, it's running really slow at 114 RPM to make sure you hit an accurate target torque. So that's by everything by default. I'm just hitting manual, but I didn't change anything, but just giving you a description what could be configured. There is always a torque spec and you can create um, sort of a limit, which could be, in this example, could be nine, which is minus one, and could be 11, which is plus one as well. I could set an angle limit, but I have to say when does the angle limit start. So I might wanna start from first torque, which is from seven, and I'm gonna measure this angle 
for a wide open um, angle to, you know, just to collect the data and we can analyze later what is a good angle limit. I'm just going to set this from 1 to 8,000 or 9999, which is a classic value. And by default, it's going to measure torque at max torque value because you want to see what is the peak torque and measure angle at the max angle value. You can also turn on torque compensation if needed or current monitoring. Stop stage. I would always suggest turning soft stop so it'll make the timing more ergonomic. So that's all for creating a quick step program, nice and easy. We'll have more videos on other scenarios for timing. So that's it on this video for Tools Talk 2. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please contact your local LS Copco representative. Thanks for watching. <laughs>